last step is to calibrate the gimbal. To output the best performance, you need to calibrate it every time after you perform a balancing process. Sometimes you want to put a mic on the camera, or you've changed the lens. Not only do you need to rebalance it, but also need to recalibrate it. To calibrate the gimbal, you need to download the corresponding apps on your smartphone. But if you use Feiyu gimbal, like this AK2000C, you can just do it on the gimbal. Wipe the setting page. The gimbal will start automatically calibrating itself. If you use another brand, you will find it in their apps. This process will enable the gimbal to correct and adjust its gyroscope to fight the accurate horizon. Right now, it's complete, but sometimes or normally, the calibration will take several minutes and need a stable and flat surface. Otherwise, the result will be incorrect. After you've done the calibration, you want to adjust the motor power next. The right motor string will maximize the steadiness of your camera. Underpower motor strength will likely increase the unsteadiness of your camera movement because it doesn't output enough power to compensate your movement. Overpower motor strength will generate vibrations and noises, making your footage unusable. So how to find a sweet spot? Usually, you don't have to adjust by yourself. Most brands have the self-adapt function to automatically detect how much amount of power is needed depending on your camera's weight. On AK2000C, you can do it here. And for the other brands, you can find it on their apps. Just tap the payload settings, tap auto adaption, and press confirm. Well, now the gimbal will buzz and vibrate a little bit after it goes back to normal. Press confirm. Process is complete. You want to turn it off and turn it on back again. Well, now the gimbal is ready to use. 